The author of Tyler Goes Around the World became the CEO of Kid Time Enterprises, LLC. He has his own company. I love it. When he was just four years old. At that time, he informed his mother he wanted to start his own business. Tyler's journey to co-write a children's book with guidance from his mother, Andrea Blackstone, involved into an early lesson in entrepreneurship and a vehicle to create community projects. Tyler is the son, grandson, and nephew of veterans, so he's been surrounded by this wonderful support of people making a difference in the community and in the world. He wanted to take his mother's show, a YouTube video. I'm sorry. He wanted to sh um, show his mother a YouTube video sorry, about a, the plight of homeless veterans. He took immediate action to build homes for them. He wanted to take immediate actions to build homes for them. However, his mother said we can't afford to build homes for you know everybody and for the homeless. However, we can make a difference. He also gave back to Veterans Day and was created because of Tyler's desire to thank and uplift heroes who served our country. Start a snowball, provided a hundred through a grant to support Tyler's idea to make hygiene kits, kits to distribute them to elderly homeless veterans. Additionally, Tyler inspired a thousand book giveaway hashtag on social media to, pro to provide and promote literacy through the Traveling Book Festival. Tyler gives away free books to children and teenagers in Prince George's County, other parts of Maryland, and in the District of Columbia. With the help of generous sponsors and grants, over 5,000 to books was to encourage reading at home. So if you would like to donate to his cause to continue this wonderful initiative, we'll talk about that later too. Tyler's first bookshelf was installed at Studio Styles in Annapolis, Maryland. Free bookshelves in five partnering salons and barbershops were added during Prince George's County's Festival of Literacy, Literary Arts in 2017, which was sponsored by Prince George's County Arts and Humanities Council. Tyler has been featured on Fox 5, WJZ 13, WBAL TV 11, CTV in Prince George's County, and The Impact with Robin Dorsey at WBGR <laughs> Sports and Entertainment Network. Tyler received a 2016 President Barack Obama Service Award. Yes. Barack Obama. Yes, I love it. And in addition, he was homeschooled. First grader to student looks forward to publishing his second book and expanding his community project and company. He recently won a grant to provide more books to youth who lost them in, te in Texas. Tyler is committed to encouraging adults to help veterans while also mobilizing other youth to make a difference at his age. So without further ado, we are going to introduce the amazing and fantastic Tyler Stallings. Hello and welcome. You're welcome. It's nice to meet you. It is nice to meet you too. <laughs> I am so happy to have you here today on my show. You are an amazing kid. Thank you. And then we have his fantastic and phenomenal mom. I mean, it Thank starts you. at home and look <laughs> at her. She is wonderful, beautiful, and amazing. Andrea Blackstone, welcome and thank you. Thank you for, for having us. us. Oh, we're, we're excited to be here, so thanks for having us. No problem. So, Tyler, mm -hmm. tell me, what has been your most favorite community project that you have done so far? Well, my book project... I'm very excited about the Texas one because, you know, I hope they have a good rest of the school year. Yes. So that made a difference to you. Yeah. Yes. And about how many books did you say you collected? Over 500. Over 500. Oh, my goodness. You did that all by yourself? Mom drove me there, took me there. Mm -hmm. Picked the books up, then went to went to the um, book party. Oh, wow. So you and your mom did all of these things to help the kids in Texas. Yes. That is phenomenal. And I do it other times, too. You do? What other times do you do it? 
I do it when I feel like some kids need some books. And you also like to read books. So tell me, how many books do you read a day? I used to read five back in the winter, but now I read like three to five. Three to five a day? Yeah. That is awesome. What's your favorite book so far? My favorite book was The Tuna Fish Surprise. It's a spy book. Mmm, spy book. We like spy stuff. So tell us, when you received your President's Award, how did that feel? It felt really good. It felt really good? Yes. Were you excited? Was you nervous? How did you feel? Good. Good? Okay. And you also wanted, you wrote your first book. How did that feel, writing a book at six years old at the time? It felt good. It felt good? Mm -hmm. Did you help to um, create the cover and those things, too? Yes. Yes? Okay. And now I have a lot of them in stock. <laughs> wow, you have some in stock? Yes. Yeah, I have, like, three boxes of them in my closet. Okay. Three boxes. So do you do autographs, too? Oh, uh, yeah. One person asked me to do it. So I got my first one in. Yes. I want your autograph, too. <laughs> you you rock. I mean, you know, you're a famous kid here. I'm going to need your autograph before you leave, okay? Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So, Andrea, tell me. Oh, you, you have an amazing kid. Mm, thank you. Like I said, and it starts at home. Mm -hmm. It really does. You know, it's up to us. At, when our children at this age, it starts with us. Mm -hmm. So tell us about your journey with your son. Right. Well, when he was actually four years old, Tyler said, Mom, I don't like what I saw on YouTube. And that happened to be homeless veterans on the street. And he told me, if they've done all this for their, for their country and our country, why are they homeless? And mm. he wanted to build houses and, and really take action immediately, call the governor's office wow. and say, Governor Hogan, what are you doing to help them here in Maryland? That just I even got a citation from him. Yes. yes. And that's because he really took initiative to say, I want to do something. And he really works to mobilize people. And even at the age of four, he was giving out business cards. And if you purchase my book, anything on wow. my website, then I will donate some of the money to my veteran project. And for me, I guess initially when he said me, I want a business. Yes, you may. Yeah, oh. I was even giving out business cards when I was four at school. I know that. I love it. At four years yeah, old. Yes, he was. He has his own business cards and he is handing them out to his classmates. Yes, I had to actually hold them oh, wow. <laughs> until I picked him up because he said, well, you told me to promote myself and that's what I like to do. And I, I said, but it. Tyler, not everybody understands what you're doing here. Yes. He said, okay, mom, but he has never been shy. Yes. He's very outgoing. And I just feel as though I wanted to get behind him and tomorrow's not promised I'm never to shy because I'm always talking to somebody. Yes, he is. <laughs> More people know him now than me sometimes. They just know, you're Tyler's mom. <laughs> but I just wanted to let him know that I believed in him. Yes. That sometimes we need to build our children up right away. We Absolutely. don't have to wait to do that. And if he said he wanted to do it down to the book or giving back, it just really became a passion of his. And when I saw he stuck to it after a yes. year, I Dedication. said, well, now you're five and you still want to do these things? Oh, yes, it must be done. I mean, he's donated a laptop to wow. veterans. He's donated boxes of items. Um, and he never complains about the time he puts in to yes. do these things. And with kids needing books, he's developed partners to try to make it possible. So kids don't feel bad if their parents yes. don't have the money. And even a summer book party. So if they don't have a way to the library, yes. that they could have books that they want and we often make it like a party, so the only rule is if you take it, you should read it. Yeah. But other than that, everything is free. They still tell her. Everything is free when they come because we want them to feel good yes. about being there yes. and for kids to feel good about reading and make it cool again. Yes. You know, we, we want... 
them to understand that they can empower themselves through the love of books, education, and learning. Yes. So anything like that, I am down to do whatever I have to do to help and support that because that's a passion that I have. Yes. And, and I thank you for that. <laughs> You're oh. welcome. <laughs> Very much. I love it. And he is such adorable. So I just, I just really, my philosophy is when he started doing things when he was four, some people said... A four-year-old having a business, and they kind of laughed it off, and they thought it was strange. But now they get it. Yeah. And I've also this has also been a learning lesson for him yes. about rejection yes. and how sometimes just because you want to do something and you're a kid, that doesn't mean it's going to be easy. But you really stay still. You really have to learn and take your lessons right. with you wherever yeah. you go as you get older. So I've just been committed to saying whatever he wants to do, I'll try to get behind him. And as a result, we've met amazing people and connected to other people who have yes. passions to do good things and people like you. Yes. So that's oh, important for, to me, people to see the good. Yes. Because so many times we hear the bad and the negative. And yes, even as a do. journalist... My job has actually been to highlight the positive. Yes. And it's not always easy selling that yes. story. I mean, we know that somebody who does crime, and I'm think I don't ask what's going on as much. Yes. Even though it's good to know what's going on, but I don't like doing it. I'd rather ask my uncle because it's just, I don't want to hear a lot about it. I and the news that. only has a little bit about it. Yes. So I, I look at the news to see it because I don't want to look at something too negative yes. that I don't want to hear. That's right, because it's all about positivity. Right. And we can make a difference if we just change a few things and it all starts with us, right? Right. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I mean... You know, I'm not blaming Baltimore, but <laughs> I love if they it. make it better. That's right. We can make it better. Mm -hmm. So you have traveled to a lot of places recently. Yeah, I even traveled to two states, and I made my second trip because I only went to California on the plane. Yes. I got to ride on a mark train, which I was supposed to earn, but... Then it turned into a some... sweet trip and a mile. Yeah. Just yeah. so you tell her you had a business meeting this week, yeah. right? Oh, I had a business wow. meeting. Uh, business tell related me about meeting. Your so business tell her what meeting. happened. It was a business meeting, and yes. I was supposed to earn that for my points and turn it at. I was thrilled. You were thrilled. I, I didn't understand. So tell her what happened during the business meeting. What well, did they decide? We were a little 15 late. Okay, okay. Because people don't just go here, go mm -hmm. there. Right. So we were walking all over the place, finally reached the building. Okay, we go up to the to to the next floor. We knock on the door, get it over with, and we're back to Maryland. Right, but what happened in that meeting? Well, we they just asked me some questions like you're doing here. Okay. And... So we went back to Maryland, back on the train. Okay. Right, but what did they offer you, though? They offered me a... A chance to do what? A chance to work with them. Okay. To do what? To, to do my business with them. Right, but what would you be doing with them now? What would they represent you for? Something say, else you wanted to do. We say... What else did you want to do? Um, what I would you tell me about the fashion blog? Oh, yes, I want to do the fashion blog, too. Okay. So, instead of the fashion blog, Mom said, now, I believe in multiple streams of income, absolutely, even for children. Absolutely. So, we actually submitted him to a talent agency, and they accepted him. Yeah. So, he can be eligible now to do professional print work and, and commercials because he's been on some auditions. Say thank, thank you. Thank you. So that way he has another part of being a kidpreneur and I'm teaching yes. him you get money, you put it in the bank yes. and tell, tell Miss Dorsey, sit back, how, how, what you feel about you making money. save money, make money, do good things in the community. That's my rule. Yeah, so right. save money, mm -hmm. make money, and what's the other one? What's the last thing? What's the last thing you do? 
And do good things in the community. And do good things in the community. You heard that from Tyler. Right. So that's his his platform around his business and his brand. Yes. So for me, it just has taken on different pieces, whether it's something he can personally do or yes. partner with someone or say, I have an interest in this. I can make money. I can put some away. I can help people. And I don't mind getting behind it because I feel like as a mom, that's my job. I, again, I just am passionate about saying, yes. let's do it now. Yes. It's work, but let's do it now. I love it. And I don't like for people to empower kids late. I yes. believe that if they're interested in something with guidance and the time, they can go ahead and try it. Yes. So that's what we're doing. So you are a journalist for the Baltimore Sun and the uh, Baltimore uh, Times, the Baltimore Times and the Annapolis Times, correct? Right, and I I freelance for others as well. Wow. Yes, Prince George's County. I've done stuff in Frederick. Okay. I've I've freelanced for a number of and people. And I, I think she has something else to do up in Oxen Hill. Not right signing. tomorrow. Oh wow! What and do you sometimes have to do tomorrow. Uh, there's something regarding an HBCU college fair. Oh, I love it. Out. I love it. Okay. See what what, what's there for people? Uh, and I hope it is. I hope they aren't. Well, it's a no. college fair, so resources. Isn't that. Well, I hope they aren't. <laughs> no. So, it's how long have you been fair. doing journalism? And what brought you to this oh, state to a, give back for the passion of that? That's the whole <laughs> question. When I was a student at Morgan State University, Morgan State. That's what I was talking about. Oh, okay. They'll they'll probably be there. Um, I I love to write. I love to write most of my life. Yeah. And I couldn't find a job. Well, mom's kind of getting me into reporting myself. Right, and he's my assistant. Yes. Well, (laughs) I love it. And so I just felt like you know how it is with experience. Sometimes people say you don't have any clips. Right. And I heard that too long. I was tired of it. I said, yes. I have to do something just like you've done your own thing out of the yes. box. I said, God, I don't know exactly what That's I need right. to do. But I'm tired of people underestimating That's me. And even right. after I got a master's degree, everything was no, 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 no. We don't have time to train you or didn't hear wow. back. And I just got an idea to start an easy. And it was positive news, entertainment, Good. red carpet stuff, author interviews, just a variety of things. And I started a couple of blogs, too. Yeah. And it was really busy. Didn't know why I was doing it. I right. wasn't really monetizing it the way I wanted. Right. But I was getting experience. All right. I started interacting with PR people, yes. learning the ins and outs, kind of teaching myself as the best did. I could yes. as I went along. And one night, I, I saw a job opening for an editor, actually, of a newspaper. Wow. And I said, I have an interest in this. I've done this so far. I said, what's it going to happen? Yeah, hurt I done me? this, I did this, I did this. <laughs> and I submitted, and they said, come in for an interview. And I became the editor of a newspaper yes. by creating my own vehicle to get yes. myself experience. And because Tyler was a baby and I'm a single parent and there's some health things that came up, I decided to step down. But that experience took yes. me to the next level of being able to freelance for people and try to see what I can do with my passion yes. and telling good news is a part of that Absolutely. because as we mentioned sometimes people don't get the balanced view in the world That's right. and I have a big concern yes. about that because I want people to see all the positive things yes. and for them to see the young people, the youth the good people out there and so when the message goes out to all these countries all yes. over the world where people can't touch you and hug you and shake your hand they know that there are a variety of people in That's the world right. And right. we don't have to get into those stereotypes. And so it's important to me to be a part of at least at some point telling positive news, yes. highlighting good things, and really motivating more people to be a part of that movement. Yeah. So that's how I got there. It was I basically it. blogging that's for free for a while. Yeah, sometimes you have to start off that path to get what you yes. want. I mean, it's always, it's not necessarily where we want to start off, but, right. you know, you never know where that journey is going to take you. And, you know, and it took you to fulfill your dream and your dream came true. Yes, I thanks. mean, how rewarding is that? It, that it, is amazing. It's been a journey, even as a freelancer. It's, it's a sacrifice, but yes, because my priority yeah. is I'm Tyler sure. and homeschooling, yes. that's another thing. And that's what we're going to talk about next, too. Some type of 
flexibility involved yes. for that as well. And I'm juggling, th- working for three people right now right. and helping. But it's just, it is what it is. Wow. <laughs> it is what it is. Oh, uh, well, let's get in the homeschooling direction. Well, we're going to talk okay, about wait, that two in two minutes because we're going to take a break, but we're going to ask you another question. So what do you like to do for fun? I like to do a lot of things. Okay. I like to jog, run around. Yeah, I'm always running around. I like to talk and socialize while <laughs> meeting. Yes, I love it. I like you. So do you run the meetings? So when you went into that meeting that you had the other day, <laughs> did you go in there and say, well, I'm Tyler, and then we're going to start with, did you did you take the meeting on? Well, yeah. Yeah. Fine. I love it. I love it. <laughs> That's what about that's what it's about being an entrepreneur. Sometimes you gotta take the wheel. He took the wheel. I love it. And also like the person I was talking about, he this oh well, I didn't tell. He comes over there's somebody we know that comes over as a friend and he gives us rides in his car to different places where we need to go. He also it's nice enough to give his restaurant food, and that's where I like to socialize with him. Right. So wow. you like to try different foods. And what did you get recently to exercise? Well, the it's a smart i it's a smart invention. Um, it was like bands, and you pull them, mm-hmm. like, like. Like different things, and also got some weights that free weights. Ah, so. Okay. And tell her about your go kart. Do you like the go kart? Pretty fast. Even my bike's pretty fast. So which one do you like better, the go kart or the bike? Both. Both. My, both of them go pretty fast when I'm going down a hill six oh, miles. Oh, absolutely. But they don't go back up the hill, so I have to. So then you have to pedal a lot harder to get back up the hill, correct? Well. Sometimes like it's too steep for it to I have to push it up there. Oh, okay. Okay. Sometimes we all need a little help. Right. It's okay. But when I reach go down the hill it's pretty fast, so I have to, I sometimes I can't pull on my brakes because when I try to put on my brakes it doesn't stop. Mm-hmm. So the if the, it doesn't stop before I crash into that certain thing, I pull a metal thing that stops the wheel. Yes, the stopper. Yeah. So it helps you. I love it. So when we come back in a few moments um, after this commercial break, we're going to talk about being homeschooled. Okay. (laughs) We have a big problem, and we need your help. It's happening on college campuses, at bars, at parties, even in high schools. It's happening to our sisters and our daughters. Our wives and our friends. It's called sexual assault and it has to stop. We have to stop it. So listen up. If she doesn't consent or if she can't consent, it's rape, it's assault. It's a crime. It's wrong. If I saw it happening and I was taught you have to do something about it. If I saw it happening, I speak up. If I saw it happening, I'd never blame her. I'd help her. Because I don't want to be a part of the problem. I want to be a part of the solution. We need all of you to be part of the solution. This is about respect. It's about responsibility. It's up to all of us to put an end to sexual assault. And that starts with you. Because one is too many. Dorsey, you have been listening to and watching the phenomenal Tyler and his mom, Andrea. And she and him have been doing a fantastic job with giving back to to the community, feeding the homeless, raising books and other materials for the homeless. I mean, their causes are phenomenal and fantastic. But what we're also about to get into is an interesting topic We're going to talk about being homeschooled because Tyler is homeschooled. And as you can see, he is well managed and maintained and 
posh and great manners. I mean, he's an amazing kid, and he is homeschooled. So there's so many misconceptions about being homeschooled. We see the commercials. Oh, your kid can go to homeschool from K to 12. But what does that really mean to people? And is it homeschool better um, than public school or better than private school? What are the difference? So we actually have someone who can tell us all about home being homeschooled and her experience. So, Andre, right. please tell us about well, homeschool. Let me say it first. Okay. Oh, what yes. do you have to He's say? He's going to tell us about it first. Okay. What's your opinion? <laughs> I love it. How do you feel well, about it? Well, we used to live in Prince George's. Okay. County. Over yes. here, but somebody we know wanted to move over there. So they're now where where we used to live. So we switch places. Okay. Well, sometimes we might go over there, but right now we can't right now. Okay. okay. We'll just but them. anyhow, so when I was living at that particular house, which I get to stay there sometimes with my cousins there, I get to spend the night sometimes. Okay, tell her, just tell her. I, um, actually, I went to a school one day. Mm-hmm. Because I wanted to see how, ask about some books and to how and how it would be in public school. Mm-hmm. So I asked, and the principal was kind of acting. Oh, how was the principal acting? <laughs> crazy, I guess. I oh would say. no, the principal <laughs> was acting crazy. Well, what I mean when I say that is, the principal. Was saying, what do you mean books and all that stuff? You know, it wasn't very warm. Oh no! And it gave him a bad impression, unfortunately, yes. and it scared him. Wow! And that would have been in his assigned school a year mm. later. So a lot of people said, "Oh, you don't know if he he won't like it. Just go ahead and put him in that mm. school." And I, I'm from a family of educators. Yes. And I said, "No, I can't do that to my child because." If he's telling me he's uncomfortable from the beginning of the situation, I have to pay attention. And I think right. a lot of times parents don't listen to their children who yes. have the gut instinct. And I had to do some sacrificing because yes. I said, if I don't put him there, now what? Right. Long story short, it led to homeschooling because we went to a church. They still talk. And the lady gave me all the information oh. that I needed just because we walked into church and asked for prayer. And she said, oh, I homeschool. Right. And it led to the, the um, actual curriculum that we use now. And it's been wonderful. And there's a Baltimore Castle Conversations. And there's the an- another one up in Greenbelt. Or a friend well, lives, been a and every time, all. every time I after that, I'd go where he lives in Greenbelt because the group was in Greenbelt. Right, and go ahead and don't. get some lunch and wow, I love that. Some pizza, so you still do some meetups, but they they actually classical conversations. Oh my goodness, it's wonderful. Really? The things they learn week one. They, to uh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> I love it. Oh, name the president. You know. They're they're detailed. Very detailed. I love it. Tell her where you went today for a field trip with the group. So even though they don't oh, they meet once a week, health and medicine, still, medicine, health and medicine. Wow. And what are some of the things you learned about there? They were skeletons, soldiers, and heads with holes in them. Mm. So the pathology and dissecting things and how the human body and works one and bones. Even one even had a swollen up leg, and at first I thought it was just a great big leg. Right, but they wow. learned. And then the... I asked, because it sounded kind of suspicious to me, and they said it was some. <laughs> Elephantitis, that's what it was. Elephantitis. But these are the things he's exposed wow. to, which are usual for a six-year-old. Yes. And they learn things like all the U.S. presidents, wow. all the states. I mean, these are things that even at five he started. So tell her how you felt about learning all the presidents. You memorized See, that them. one was a good school for me, but not the one where the principal was. Yes. So they meet up once a week. Okay. And, and I think the misconception of what we're seeing is that there are different Mom, versions of homeschool. I might school. be in the next year one. Right. We don't know. We'll see how it goes. But 
there are many ways to homeschool. Okay. And Tyler is a someone who needs the interaction. Right. So one way to do that is to be a part of the community and go meet up once a week. Okay. So we're part of a community. The kids get together. Everyone learns the same thing, whether you're five or six or okay. whether you're 15. It's just the amount that you're learning. Right. And so it's it's a wonderful community. People are very supportive. Sit back. Mm -hmm. And okay, I'll get it. And it's just been good for him because the kids are very motivated to learn. There's certain things aren't tolerated there. Yes. And it's just been a great experience for us. And then what he's learning, I'm very pleased with that. Good. The things that he is learning. Wow. I mean, already studying words and all the facts he knows yes. and English grammar. And I build in things around that curriculum. So the, another beauty of homeschooling yes. is that you can add what you want your yeah. child to know. So even for Black History Month, because he loves to read, I've curated books wow. for Black History Month. So you read Mama, about Thurgood Marshall. Mommy's painting is pancakes. That's a funny. Mama Panya. So that's a Kenyan yeah. tale. That's, that's a funny Kenyan tale. Right. And where did you go? So you went to see Harriet who? Tubman. Where that she, wasn't with the group. Um, right. But on our own, right, we do these trip. things. Mm -hmm. So we often read so probably, and tie things. They're probably soon going to go to b no, but they better go on a special day. Right. Yes. I want I want to get the kids fun. Yes. So you I like catching the specials. There are so many ways you can yes. do it. So some of the misconceptions about homeschooling children is one, they don't have that that social interaction. Right. And you just said that there are ways to, to get that social interaction. So the misconception is if I homeschool my kid, then they may be socially awkward or I may be doing a disservice to them because they don't have that child development by, right. you know, being by my child being homeschooled. So you cleared that up. So I thank you for that. You can that. add whatever you want. If you want your child to take lessons in something and you want to pay for it that's what you do wow and they actually in his group they're blessed in the church to have a gym yeah so they have we do the pledge of allegiance i mean in the sometimes morning. i change stay for the gym they have little fun scooters and we like ride them around and it's like crash and we're like sorry and then we're off again i love it like every five minutes so they, there's a lot on, of normal on, on, yes on a scene of wow. a crash because Sometimes they crash into each other, and then they get out, oh, well, sorry, and then they're back. <laughs> like, like bumper cars. Right. Yes, I love it. So one of the things, too, another misconception is, so how are they, are their development is not the same because they're not taught in the classroom, but you also also take tests. So they still take standardized they, testing. They, it's so an tell us option about that. that you can have your child tested if you want them tested. Okay. The, School, a lot of people don't understand there's also a special office usually mm. um, in your school district or your county yeah. or wherever you are who monitors your homeschooling performance. Wow. So I can say I'm homeschooling him, but when it's time for a review, I have to take in the pictures. Mm. I have to take in the workbooks. I have to take in the field trip log. I have to take in anything to prove that every single subject is covered under law the yes. comar standards of education i'm responsible for them to gym wow so it's accountability it, measures. there is definitely yeah. accountability I went involved. To my thing was the thing when i was going down the steep hill i was like no you're not pulling off so what i had to do let me tell you what i had to do what you had to do so what i had to do <laughs> i had to go down go down a little bit pull the brake mm -hmm. then back up, and then I was back where I wanted to. So you didn't tell Miss Dorsey, though, so part of the reason you got that pedal go-kart, because we count that toward Jim. Yeah. So all the things that I, you would I normally do. I even had my bike. One time, um, you to find my fun is crazy. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, one time, I was in there, right? Somebody that my Uncle Alfred said, Oh, it's his neighbor, and they had a child, right? So the the, the child said, "I'll be right back." So his dad did that, and and she walked away, right? Uh -huh. She came back with her bike, and I was like, "Bop!" Right when I saw a bike, I was on the job. Oh, right, so you you meet people, <laughs> right? But you can it. build in to cover those subjects. 
you can do it on days like I mean, weekends, like I even added right the subject to it with my building. Right. Hard. There are all kind of ways you can accomplish your goal. I know people who homeschool after they get home from work. Right. Really. Yes. There are online groups. There are all kinds of ways to do it. And to me, you tailor it to your child's needs and how they best learn. And you you can monitor that. Right. And there are tests and there are things. And I know exceptional people who are homeschooled and everyone's different. So it's just basically trying to meet the need of the child. And what another people, some people don't Mm -hmm. understand are different curriculums have different qualities about Mm. them. The curriculum that we have is very rigorous. Okay. And the person who created it is a veteran homeschool person in the movement. Okay. Sit back. No, I'm off the chair. I'm doing it. Okay. And so that's another thing is that you have to look at the quality yes. of what you select. Mm. Everything is so not you, created So it's equal. a la carte. So you get to select different yes, programs the that you're interested in. Yes, the school system is not wow. going to say, this is what you must pick. What mm. they will say is, this is what you, you must have cover. To do. Right. Okay. And so... It's up to the parent to say, this is what I want my child to do. I okay. think this is up to the standard and expectations yeah. when I compare what they'd be doing in public school right. or private school. And then some people even begin to homeschool their child. And as they get older, they might say, well, now I'll let them go sit up to a different school now. Right. They're able to do that. Okay. So it also can change. Right. But I've met people in all kinds of situations. Mm-hmm. And... I'll just say that I'm very pleased with the quality of what we've been doing, but it is a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And people have to be willing to put their time in. Yes. Yes. How often do you have to report? um, How often do you have to Mm -hmm. provide your reporting to the county or the state? Is it the state or the county that you report to? Right. So you're providing it to the county where you live, and they're going by these regulations, like I said, and you fill out the sheets and the information for each subject. To prove what you've been doing okay. at that time. And so you do it like we've done our um, the first quarter. And then we'll have another one for the spring semester. Okay. So you'll basically what do it most. Me? Right. Well, remember we did a homeschool review once, right? Before we did ours. And they give you an appointment mm-hmm. to meet with them, to talk to them, to show them everything. Well, actually, you um, pick a time. Right, you pick a time, okay. and everyone's assigned a time, hmm. and then they tell you based on what you've now done you is acceptable. Now you know something funny from that group. That's One funny. time I was there doing my review, and somebody from the group walks in. Yes, everybody I has like, to go. Hmm. Oh you must go. my oh. god! To be compliant, you must go. Oh, wow. It is illegal not to do that in Maryland. Really? So different states have different regulations, okay. but in Maryland, you are responsible. You must show up to be compliant, mm. and they will hold the parent responsible if they oh. do not do what they're supposed to do. So do we'll this? we'll have one more left, okay, and then school will be out. Oh wow! So does the homeschooling? <laughs> I love it. So does the homeschooling program still have the traditional spring break, winter break type thing, or is it more um, self directed? It depends on the person and like, what you're doing. Like for this month, uh, so Christmas Valentine's you did get Day, we're gonna like Valentine's Day. We just have a little party at the group. Right, they do some of the normal things. Good. But as far as the break, so you did get a Christmas right, break. Like remember? we we yeah. go to the group and celebrate Christmas or whatever, and then we go ahead. Like we uh, at the group for Christmas. You know what's funny? Yeah, what's funny? Tell me. The kids the kids got to come in their slippers and pajamas. Oh, <laughs> so y'all had a, yeah, they, they had a pajama party. party? Yes, they did. Oh, that was cool. Did you have a good time? Yeah. yeah. I got to wear pajamas. I think. <laughs> <laughs> so how do they do um, with homeschooling? Um, because it's self-directed, how is graduation? So do you all have graduation? I think some people do, depending on what their family wants to do. And okay. I want to add this. Yeah. There okay. are programs. Like when the other graduation, we got like an... Uh, but you haven't had... Some uh, thing. That was pre-K, but you were in and the... And then uh, not we the went to Chick-fil-A. Everybody oh, right. They had a... They had a... 
a I ceremony. Get. Okay. Cause Just I, to say. Because I eat up my sandwich when I get it. <laughs> okay, let me explain to They're us. They're so yummy from the See, so yummy. <laughs> no. But what they do is, it. for our program, it goes until a certain month. Okay. And then they kind of break. Mm. Because we cover so much. Right. And it does not go to May or to June. Oh, okay. And we get so much done. So they did get little certificates that said, you, you covered this much. Okay. And it was kind of, all right, if you want to come back next year, you can. And for the older kids, mm -hmm. I know some kids, they do have proms. They really? do. They, you're a part of a community yes. in many ways. So a lot of things, there are kids who take college courses, and they're in high school. Wow. Okay, we'll get you see later. Don't worry about it. That is So amazing. whatever you want to do is what it can be. So what for the parents to say, okay, well, this sounds like a really, really great mm -hmm. idea. Um, but when they're asking questions like, well, the way that the kids are being taught today <coughs> is right. totally different from when we've been taught. And right. we've been out of elementary school for over 20 years or whatever right. the case may be. So if they need a tutor, who's going to help them out if we, the parents, can't figure out because the, the new math is different? Well, the, the beauty of <laughs> his program is... So tell them, so every Thursday, you go meet with your group. Right. And there are trained And if I tutors. stay for recess. You stay for recess? <laughs> right. Sometimes. But tell them what you do. So when you go there, you have a classroom setting. Right. It's led by a tutor. We have a director then, of then, our community. Then we all, sometimes I get to stay for lunch, and sometimes we run downstairs. Then when we finish, then the person at the group yells, recess open. Well, I'm running to recess first. Wow. But what do you do? So even you do if, your memory work? I mean, like, even if we're not finished our food, we're on the run to it. Right, but what do you do? So you have, they don't want it to get too big. Okay. So we have actually three classes okay. with what we call tutors. They're and trained, how many people are in each one um, of those classes? I would, would say, say maybe about seven. Okay. No more oh, than wow. eight. Oh, wow, that's awesome. They're small, usually. And the parents are required to stay there with the mm. child. So everything so no he learns, I learn. Mm. I have to be there. We have... We, Bob I, gets <laughs> every education. Right. Even yeah, I get extra daughter. education. Because some of this we didn't get into the yes. detail that they're getting into. Yes. And so the beauty of it is they do their science experiments mm. together. They do certain things together every week. And they do the review every I week. Love it. They call it their memory work. Yeah. Their facts in the timeline of history. Yeah. So certain things they do together and it takes the stress off of me to start from scratch. Right. Because what that means is that everything from that point you've done up to where you are now that you should be working on at home. Mm, okay. So there are ways that you can get help. And how long are the sessions? So say we get there at 9 and by 12 the bulk of it is over. Okay. And then the fun stuff he's talking about happens okay. and the older kids go back in oh, but the okay. younger kids that's it and so everything you you yeah, need the younger the kids they get a break to run we get now we we get happy because we don't have to do it now they're all upset when it's time to leave <laughs> right so but i don't care because i'm i don't have to stay Okay. So, so you know, there's a director of our community. Right. She's in charge. Okay. If wow. someone's out, there are substitutes. It's very organized. So, if someone needs a tutor in a certain subject too, again, the parent can can pursue that on their own. But in our community, at least there is help wow. because there's someone saying, "This this is the experiment we're going to do today. You have all the materials. You have everything you know you're going to be doing." Okay. You're going over well, everything. Like so last helped. week, um, so, so you did the scientific did a, method, yeah, right? We were seeing what had thing in it. And sugar. One of, them, one of them had paper, had sugar. Now, what in the world would paper have sugar? I know paper <laughs> has sugar in it. Yeah, yeah. So, so they do, they do a lot to guide yeah. you. And I just didn't want to take on everything yes. myself. So that's another reason why I it was a fit it. for me. So it gives me a little bit of guidance that someone else has done some of the legwork. Yes. And then I can take it from there. Okay. So what would you say, um, having been doing this, mm -hmm. so how long have it, you been This is the second year. Second year. So what would you say are the, give me two pros and two cons of homeschooling, if you have Okay, I'll goals. start with the 
cons to knock them out. Okay. It's very hard. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. The time, the time that it takes is intense. Okay. I'm exhausted because I'm a working mom too. Yes. So balancing what I must do to pay my bills and helping him is yeah. I'm not gonna lie, it's hard. Yeah. But at the end of it I feel the reward of it. Um, another con is that it's very hands on to the point that if I can't be there there's a problem. I have, it's it's right. falling on me. I'm responsible. Right. Everybody is looking at me right. to be with him at all times. Wow. And so if you don't you're have not, that break. No. If you're wow. not willing to do that, shame on you. And right. financially. Right. I have to buy all the materials, the oh, books. Wow. I pay to be a part of the community for him at oh, the beginning of the year. So there's a, not there's a cost associated. Oh, so what yes. are, let's talk about that. So what so, are some of the costs right. that you have to pay? Because... We have viewers here that right. may want to do homeschooling, but they didn't know about all of right. these wonderful things you educated so, us with. So with our our group, again, we're part of a community. Mm -hmm. So once hey, we found... Hey, they practice in uh, Christopher Columbus. Okay, but they're tell her, so when you're in a community, you're basically agreeing to follow the rules. Right. To be a part of the facility fees, mm -hmm. to rent. A lot of them expenses. happen in churches, say... So say let's say the startup of that might be five hundred dollars. Okay. Then you have to buy the and manuals, is that a month the CDs. Or a year no, or? no, that's the one beauty of it. Okay. For ours, it's not that bad when you really look at how long they're using the church. Okay. Um, but the materials like the CDs, the right. memory work, the things that complement the program because theirs is very organized. They have webinars. They mm -hmm. have other things that you can buy to help them. Books to go along with the program. So any of that, sit back. I have to buy it. Wow. Um, so let's say a CD pack might be sixty dollars or something like that. Right. Um, so sixty dollars? Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, I'm not. That's why mom says take care right. of them. Exactly. Don't don't scratch them up. Right. Yeah, and just like you tell me about my kid brought exercise. Right. Yeah. yeah. Everything I buy is That's on right. me. That's and right. I said, Tyler, take care of it because wow. I can't buy these over and over for you. So as far as the expenses, so. For the for a year, what would you say was the total expenses for a year for being homeschooled? Mm. I would say a couple thousand dollars because I'm yes. always buying him stuff. Yeah. If I go into a store and I say, "Oh, we're studying the human body," right? I think I should buy this. Right. I buy it. Okay. And if I want to go to a teacher's supply store, there's in Prince one George's, here. Yes, there's it's one wonderful here. in Largo. Really? But I I don't get the discount as a right. teacher. I'm just paying like a oh, citizen. Wow. So all of those things, I buy him all the time. I buy things that I think are going to complement complement what he's doing. Right. And That's so I'm cool. constantly looking at what I can do to enhance. Tyler, don't play on the mic. Can't do that. So it, it can be a little bit yeah, expensive. Yeah, because and even trips. So does the county or the state, because you're doing the homeschool program, right. do they provide any type of incentives for homeschool? No, that's not. What about tax write off? Do you get to write off? You know, because you're, you're in an education right. kind of. I haven't found that tax incentive personally. Mm. I'm not saying people have it, but it is something like like with the lawmakers that mm -hmm. I wish people would look at a little more. Yeah, because we're not using the same resources right. that you know someone else may, and we're not getting benefit. Right. And why are a lot of people doing this as an option? Why are people curious? Because sometimes the choice that people have to send their kids to a certain school is honestly not up to standard. Absolutely. So it's not that we just don't want to use the school. Right. A lot of times there's a reason that people are saying, what are my Choosing options? There's a reason, yes. and they're feeling frustrated. And there are more people that people realize that are looking at homeschool. And people who travel a lot. Yeah. Um, military families sometimes homeschool too. Right. That people that move. What would you say the total time that you invest? <laughs> um, on let's say let's say a, a day a daily basis and maybe on a week. What's the time right. that's involved with homeschooling? So this is what I usually do in the morning. I try to get up before he does to get my day started <coughs> with my work. Mm -hmm. And then by the time he's responsible, sit back, Tyler. I have to look at. Well, now it's time to get him started. Yeah. So let's say if he does memory work for an hour. Okay. When that stops, I have to stop what I'm doing right. and go back to he's young. So he right. needs hands-on assistance right. with the books. And we have workbooks with some other subjects like okay. language arts or math. 
and we use manipulatives, things he can't do on his own. Right. So my day does not technically end with him like any other school day. Wow. Let's say you go to 3 o'clock, and if I have a meeting or something I have to right. do, it could end late at night. Wow. But on the other end of it... Well, you have, sometimes I have somebody to watch me. Sometimes I don't. Right. Okay. But the point is that we have to get it done. Yes. So if it said, if we had to do something and now we have to make it up on the weekend, <laughs> we do it like that. So, yes, we definitely have long days wow. as long as a regular school day and sometimes even longer, longer depending on the, the juggling I'm doing because of work. <laughs> so if someone wanted to look into um, homeschooling prospects, what would you, what's a site or something that you can recommend for them to, to begin right. the process of looking into this as an option? So Classical Conversations is personally what we, Classical Conversations. we do. And they have a website. Okay. Um, there are times when sometimes you can visit a community mm. and see what it's like, see if it's for you. Everything is for everyone and they understand Absolutely. that. So before before you invest you can find out if there's one in your area may I come visit and oftentimes it's a yes and oh I forgot there's an incentive yes if someone has younger children who are not school age they can come to our communities mm. there's no stress about child care mm. now if you want to pay for someone to watch your child in the church you can right. do that if it's a really young baby however right. they are invited to be a part Wow. And to learn I mean, one person, I know one person in my the group. Older kids. There's like three people, so. and one one person in there is named yeah, uh, Alexis. Bring. She holds a baby, and somebody brings their baby. So they help. Okay. The families help each other. Wow, I love it. And the older ones often help with the younger siblings a lot. Okay. So you can do that, too. So I mean, like, Tyler, one time I had... I have oh, one more question me. for you. Wait, excuse so, me. So, wait. Yes, sir. Like, even one time I helped out because one of the people was struggling with the baby, so I got the other hand and helped him that particular baby walk. Awesome. Okay, listen to her question. Yeah, I have yeah. one more question for you. So, if someone wanted you to be on their show, they wanted to help your fabulous call, cause, how do they get in contact with you? Well, <laughs> you have a website. Don't tell her the website. www.kidtimeenterprises.com. Yes. And same thing, w, what, what's my email? Right, so it's kidtimeenterprises at gmail.com. Yes. Awesome. Well, I thank you all so much for thank being a guest for... on my show. Tyler, you are fantastic thank and phenomenal. You. Thank you, thank Adrienne, you. Thank for, you for being a super mom <laughs> and for you. raising this um, positive young man. Thank you. And we also would like to thank our sponsors, Resurgence Beauty Lounge, um, Crafted Website Designs, and D. Christopher Communications for being a part and making a difference in the impact with Robin Dorsey. I thank you for joining us and for being um, supportive in the things that we're doing and giving back and making a difference in the community. Thank you and have a good night and we'll see you next week. This is the Impact with Robin Dorsey.